my dear students today we are going to discuss the exercises of chapter 4 what processor mail merge from a computer class 6 book let us all begin exercise a choose the correct answer question number 1 which of the following contains information about the recipients like names addresses and phone numbers in the mail merge process options are a main document b merged document c data source and d tables the correct answer here is option c data source because only data source contains all the information about the recipients question number two Creating letters using mail merge involves what? Options are A. Opening or creating the main document B. Opening or creating main document and data source and then merging the data source with the main document and option C. Opening or creating the data source The correct answer here is option B. Because whenever we are creating letters using mail merge, only creating the main document or opening or creating the data source is not enough. We need to merge the data source with the main document as well. Question number three. Mail merge does not allow you to create dash. Your options are A. Letters B. Labels C. Books and D. Envelopes now, we must know that mail merge is actually used to create letters. We also can create labels as well as envelopes. But the only thing that we cannot create in mail merge is books. Therefore, our answer will be books. Option C. Question number 4. The extension of the file that stores data source of mail merge recipient is dash. Your options are a dot docx b dot xlsx c dot mdb and d dot pptx. The correct answer here is option c dot mdb. Question number five. This is not the main component of mail merge. According to the question, amongst the given option, which is not the main component of mail merge? The options are A. Main document B. Data source C. Merged document and D. Merged field Here we must remember that there are only three components of mail merge and they are main document, data source and merged document. Therefore, our answer will be option D, merged field. It is not the main component of mail merge. Let us now discuss exercise B. State whether the following statements are true or false. Question number one. In mail merge, the content of the letter is different for each recipient. Here the statement is false because... The recipient's name may change in every letter, but the content of the letter never changes. It remains the same in each and every letter. Question number two. Merged document is the document that contains the common text and the merged fields. Here the statement is true. Question number three. Mail merge option is present on the mailing tab. This statement is also true. Question number four. You can print envelopes through the mailing tab. This statement is also true as mailing tab is used to print envelopes as well. Question number five. Changes done in the main document do not affect the other merged letters. This statement is false. Because whatever changes we make in the main document is copied in the other duplicate documents as well. Therefore, it does affect the other merged letters. 
With this, we have come to the end of part one. I hope this was helpful to all of you. Thank you.